Today, December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day, and during a ceremony later this morning, some warbirds will fly overhead with some very special passengers on board. Yeah, Corey's live this morning. Hey, Corey. I love, good morning, you guys. Love this kind of morning, and what a, what a great day for lots of bright blue skies, a visibility, unlimited, and we're at Falcon Field, and Behind me, you see one of the glorious planes, not a fighter plane, not a bomber plane, but talk about a workhorse. Uh, this would be the plane that uh, got everybody everywhere he or she needed to go uh, during the war years. And lucky for us, we've got uh, Rick Adams with us. You're on the flight crew of this uh, beautiful uh, C-47. Uh, and what are you going to be doing today, first of all? And then we'll talk about your plane. Well, we'll pre-flight pre -flight the airplane uh, and get it ready to go for the flight for uh, December 7th mm -hmm. uh, over the Capitol building. Um, I've been a crew chief on this airplane for oh, a little over eight years. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the airplane. It started life in uh, 1943. It was a C-47A. It came out of um, the Douglas Aircraft Plant in Long Beach, California, mm -hmm. and uh, went to North Africa. And uh, Italy, Sicily, and um, then uh, was and it's, part of, it's a transport plane, right? It so was a transport plane. You're dragging uh, uh, it, it uh, carried, sailors, it carried, uh, 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 infantry, it, everybody. It carried paratroopers. They were Brits in um, uh, Sicily and Italy. It also carried um, jeeps, ammunition. Wow. Um, even mules to the partisans. It was a mule carrying mules. In fact. Absolutely. Can we That's get up why inside part of our here? logo. Sure, absolutely. And uh, how is it outfitted now? More for passenger sure. service? It is. Uh, in 1952, it became part of um, the Hoover Vacuum Cleaner Company owned it. Uh -huh. And uh, they converted it to a DC-3C conversion. And this was their corporate airplane, the Hoover Vacuum Cleaner Company, from 1952 to 1967. 15 years they flew it around the country. Boy. In those days it was painted white, it had a big blue stripe, and it said Hoover on the tail. Uh huh. And uh, we just love the interior because it's so comfortable to fly. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, you've flown many kinds of planes. How does this one stack up? Oh, it's great. It's, uh, it's a dream to fly. It's like um, pure nostalgia. It's like um, if you look at the cockpit, if you um, see the panel, it's like. Um, uh, a 1930s or 40s uh, steam locomotive. Boy. Well, thank you so much for uh, giving us the tour. Next time we get together, uh, we're going to meet some of the World War II veterans, uh, some folks who were uh, of age in 1941 uh, when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, and uh, I'm sure had some strong feelings about December 7th of that year. And uh, I want to ask them what what they were thinking when they heard that news and uh, what they thought it might mean for their own future. But anyway, we'll check out the sentimental... Note, if I could, yeah. Corey. Okay, this particular aircraft has more battle history than any other aircraft in the entire CAF. That's all the bombers, that's all the fighters. This one saw more action during World War II. Love that. And CAF being the uh, commemorative Air Force. Air Force. And uh, yeah. we love these guys and what they do. Anyway, more coming your way from Falcon Field on a special day. Uh, we'll see you in a few minutes, you two. It's amazing that thing I still flies. I know. Right?